The Cold War escalates. Arms race, space race, espionage, and the Cuban Missile Crisis. From 1945 to 1991, the USA and USSR used a variety of strategies to win the Cold War. In the early years of the Cold War, 1945 to 1949, the USA used a containment policy to successfully stop the spread of communism in Europe. When communism spread to China in 1949, the USA feared the domino theory and became more aggressive in its efforts to stop communism. The USA went to war in Korea to defend South Korea from, Viet from communism. The USA went to war in Korea to defend South Korea from communism. The Soviet Union supplied weapons to the communists in North Korea during the war. This type of indirect fighting between the USA and the USSR is called a proxy war. The U.S. monopoly on nuclear weapons ended in 1949 when the USSR successfully tested an atomic bomb. The Soviet development of the atomic bomb led to a nuclear arms race between the USA and USSR. In 1952, the USA tested the first hydrogen bomb, which is 1,000 times more powerful than the atomic bomb. The Soviet Union responded by detonating its own hydrogen bomb in 1953. By 1959, both the USA and USSR developed rockets called Intercontinental Ballistic Missiles, ICBMs, that could deliver nuclear warheads to distant targets. In the 1950s, U.S. President Eisenhower escalated the Cold War by using brinkmanship, threatening to use nuclear weapons and willingness to go to the brink of war. In 
If the USSR attacked a NATO member, the US would use massive retaliation, attack every major Soviet city and military target. As a result, the USA and USSR began stockpiling nuclear weapons and building up their militaries. While the USA and USSR in possession of large nuclear stockpiles, each side could destroy each other. This was known as mutually assured destruction. Throughout the Cold War, the USA and USSR looked for ways to gain first strike capability. In 1957, the USSR used its first ICBM to launch Sputnik, the first satellite in space. Sputnik shocked Americans who feared that the US had fallen behind the USSR in science and technology. As a result of Sputnik, the Cold War escalated into a space race to show American and Soviet dominance. In 1958, the USA created the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, to catch up to the USSR. US schools promoted math, science, and technology. The USSR repeatedly beat the USA in space by launching the first man into orbit and orbiting the moon. In 1962, President John F. Kennedy committed the USA to beating the Soviet Union in the race to the moon. In 1969, Apollo 11 landed U.S. astronauts on the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard, because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills, because that challenge is one that we are willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, and one which we intend to win and the others too. JFK's Address on the Nation's Space Effort, September 12, 1962. During the Cold War, the USA and USSR created intelligence agencies, the CIA and KGB, in order to spy and carry out covert operations. The USA and USSR used spies to gather intelligence, U.S. and Soviet spy planes gathered information. The Cold War escalated as the threat of communism spread into the Middle East, Africa, and Latin America.
the CIA overthrew the governments of Iran and Guatemala and intervened in Egypt, Bolivia, Chile, and Cuba to stop communism. The Cuban Missile Crisis brought the United States and Soviet Union to a near-nuclear war in 1962.